Wait, what? Do those things just open up further? Oh, they do. Oh, do the bombs drop easier now? Hold on. Let's drop some booms. Oh, no, they still just land on top of the plane. Oh, and they bounce. Oh, no, I just blew myself up with the bomb. Komodo needs to stop playing with the weapon systems on this plane. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, we are finally back here in Simple Planes. Man, it has been a long time since we played this game. So, real quick explanation as to why I've not been playing Simple Planes. I've been having a lot of issues with the game. It was really laggy when I would go to record, and I got really discouraged and I just kind of stopped playing it. Well, fortunately I have figured out my issues. It was my recording program that was slowing the game down to a crawl and making it to where I couldn't record it anymore. So, we're actually back here today. Uh, we're gonna do a little test run here. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, maybe what you want to see out of this Simple Plane series if we bring it back full time. But yeah, all the creations that I will be playing with today are linked down in the description. And if you're enjoying Simple Planes, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's just jump right into this. Alright, so I know that Simple Rockets is going to be a thing at some point here really, really soon. Or Simple Rockets 2, I should say. So I figured we'd go ahead and start off with the rocket creation. This is a Change 3. This is a... Uh, a Chinese rocket and yeah this thing actually looks really cool it's got some really neat features too I do believe there is a rover in there hold on let's get really close look at it it's like a mini Wally, -E and it looks like it's freaking out I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the reason we blow up today so anyways let's go ahead and start this bad boy up we're gonna go here to our action groups uh, we're gonna hit action group one for takeoff two to separate I think the boosters uh, I think three is going to separate maybe the midpoint, and then eventually it's going to pop this top off up here, and we'll be able to get the rover out, and I think we need to try to land, so, oh boy, this is a lot for Komodo to take in, let's go ahead and go one, eh. uh oh, probably need to gas those up, alright, here we go, we are taking off, the Komodo space program is alive once again, oh, we're going to die, oh, this is actually quite nice. It is a smooth takeoff. I can't tell you how much smoother the game's running now, too. This actually feels good. All right, so we're getting up in the air. We're going to go ahead and click group two. Eh, we'll give it a second. I don't want to get too high up in the air. So let's get ready to go with group two. Here we go. Uh, there those go. Make sure they don't come back and hit me. All right, so the boosters are gone. Those are going to crash back down into the stands of all the people that were watching. Uh, are those going to break apart? Or I don't know. All right, so we want to go to, let's see, separate the first stage. All right, so I think we want to go three. All right, so, oh, normally when you hear an explosion in a rocket like that, that's not good. Uh, I don't think the stage separated. Okay, let's go and pop the top real quick. Boom. Okay, so the top is popped. Hold on, let's slow down a bit. We're going to, oh, it's getting really bright. I can't see. Uh, we want to go seven. This starts up the throttle for the top, I think. And then we want to go back down to five, I believe. All right, so we should be... Are we separated right now? Six? Oh, and what, what's going on here? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I separated the, the rover. Uh-oh, I should have separated... Okay, there's a pod up here. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, hold on, let's, let's throttle this down. Is the rover going to be okay? Oh, I think the rover's, uh, the, yeah, the rover's screwed. Uh, <laughs> I was not paying attention to what I was doing here. Oh, there we go. That's how we get that off. All right, I'm trying to read the instructions as I go here. So, technically, this rover right now should not be a detached from the, the main pod. There's actually, like, a little ramp here that you can, you can fold out and drive the rover off of. Unfortunately for me, I detached the rover. Okay, so that's how that was supposed to work. Yeah, the rover's just free-falling right now. Yeah, it's gonna die. Say hello to Mr. Uh, this actually does kind of remind me a little bit of Wally, -E, but yeah, it's it's gonna die. Uh, maybe we should try firing that off again? Yeah, let's do that. You know, here at the Komodo Gaming Space Program, you might as well go ahead and bring two crew and two rockets because we're gonna screw it up most likely the first time, and we always need like a backup here, so... We're gonna release the boosters quick this time. Let's go boom, there go your boosters. Oh, that one actually blew apart there. Okay, so the next stage would be three. 
Which, okay, so I'm assuming the explosion's actually a good thing. So then we would go to four to blow the top off there. There we go. So we don't want to hit, I think it's five? Uh, or maybe it's six that we don't want to hit. One of these actually releases the, uh, the little thing that we don't want to release. So I think we hit seven here. And then, are we free to go? No, maybe six or five. Uh-oh. Uh, actually, oh, I got an idea. Okay, so we're gonna slow the rocket down. And then we'll hit five. There we go. Okay, that's what we wanted to release. Now let's get it throttled up. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we just blew up the... Dang it. Wait, is that a... What is that on the inside? What? Is... What is that? Is that a bunny? Is there... Was this a bunny rocket? Oh, no. Oh, rip bunnies. I can't believe it. Okay, well, we lost the bunnies. You know what's really sad? I have written instructions in front of me, and I still can't figure this thing out. So we want to start the... Uh... Okay, so that thing's throttled up now. So I think five is what changes this rocket. You know, is the problem... Hold on, let's go five. Okay, so we are released right now. So can I shimmy myself off of this? Uh, oh, oh, come on. Shake yourself off. Shake it off. Ooh. You know, I think the problem is the main rocket booster is still going, and it, it's, like, way too fast for this. Hold on, let's decrease its throttle. Okay, let's shake it off. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Get a little air. Come on. Uh, uh, let's not die. Just, just off the side of it. There we go. <laughs> yes. Yes, we did it. Okay, so let's throttle this down a little bit. Okay, so what's this side do? This side... Okay, those are the ramps. I don't want to screw with those yet. No! Why'd you blow up that time? Oh, I can't... Oh, man. I thought I was going to do it that time. I really did. You know, it's a really cool contraption. I do highly suggest checking the link. And it's got really good pictures, like a picture book, and it shows you how to land this thing. And how it exactly works. Even though I'm following that, I think I'm still screwing it up, obviously. It's been a while since I played Simple Planes, and I think I'm showing it right now. Maybe we should go with something that's a little bit more plane-like. Alright, so the next thing we're going to be checking out is the A71M. I just picked this up because it was towards the top of the uh, Simple Planes website, and it looks like it has big kaboomies on it. So let's go ahead and spawn this. Should be spawning at the same airfield. I'm be curious, do I get any lag off of this? No, this is so much better. I can't tell you how relieved I am to be able to play Simple Planes again. All right, let me change the time of day real quick, and we'll check out what this thing has to offer here. All right, so this is a pretty cool aircraft. I don't think it's actually real, or is it real? I don't know. These are uh, little top missiles up here. Supposedly these fire, and I think these are just thrusters. And they did have a picture of this thing landing in the water, so we might actually attempt that. So let's go ahead throttle up here oh this is gonna have a lot of power to it so let's go about 35 percent throttle let's go ahead and zoom the camera in just a bit here all right let's go ahead and de increase up to 70 let's go ahead and try to get that smooth takeoff going there we go oh don't want to don't want to slap the butt down there we go that was nice all right let's go ahead and put the landing gear up all right let's see if we're at full speed will it stabilize uh, oh, that thing is loud. Jeez. No, it's still wanting to go down to the ground here. Alright, so, very nice craft. Uh, how does it maneuver? Oh, man, it almost maneuvers about like a fighter. It doesn't quite have the up and down pitch, but, I don't know, it feels pretty good. I like this. I also like this thing. Sounds like a rocket going off right now, so, let's go ahead and hit some buttons. One is, well, one made a noise. All right, so two is your reverse thrust, which I guess it's going to slow you down. Looks like eight is the canard control? What the heck is that? Is that... Is that the top rockets? I have no clue. What, oh! Oh, look at that. So this will basically trim you out. So let's go down a little bit. I'm still pulling up. There we go. Now the craft is perfectly stable. Sweet. Wow, that thing is loud. Can you imagine this thing flying over you? That's ridiculous. All right, so seven, or that's the VTOL mode is the flaps. 
but the canard, which I think I'm saying in that right, is uh, the other side here, so uh, you can really work on trimming this thing. There we go. All right, so if I were to hit the missile bay doors, so I hit those. Oh, those just unfolded. Oh, it's like the little caps came off. That is cool. So if I go, let's hit that again. So we can go, oh, actually, I think it's a one time only. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming the missiles are armed and ready to go. What do we have here? 50 boom and 50 cleaver. Well, they're not on anymore. Did I turn them off? Uh, oh boy, I think I might have screwed that up. All right, so I think we're stabilized once again. So if I hit seven this time, the caps come off. Do I have access to the weapons now? I do, so it must not like when you click seven again and turn the weapon system off. Because if you try clicking it once again afterward, it doesn't seem to do anything. So, it's got six cleaver missile and 12 bombs. Where are the bombs dropping out of? I'm assuming that's uh, the bomb bay doors are right there. How do we open the bomb bay doors? Uh, <laughs> I think I turn off the eight and then do it. So, if I turn those off, can I open up this bottom yet? No. I'll have to see here. All right, so I can fire the cleavers, so let's go select ourselves a target here. Let's see if Komodo remembers how to destroy anything. Uh, we got ourselves a destroyer right here. There we go, waiting for the lock. Okay, there we go. There goes cleaver one. Let's get the beast. Oh, come on, I need a lock here. Okay, nope, L lost my lock. Oh, you have to be right on it here. I need to go into chase mode. There we go. Okay, we are getting shot at. Can we get the last destroyer? Come on. Uh, did my cleavers take the long way around or what? I don't wonder if they're firing so fast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We are losing. Okay, we're losing a little bit here. Oh, uh, we are on fire. Did my cleavers take the long way around or what? Hold on. Does this have counter? Okay, it does have countermeasures. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, I need to try to circle around. Come on. Uh, I'm trying not to lose any engines here. I think I'm going to lose an engine. Oh, <laughs> yes, we just blew up. All right, so Komodo does remember how to target stuff in Simple Planes. I think we were just way too close for those to actually go off. It seems like they flew away. How do we do the bombs, though? That's the one I'm a little confused about. All right, we're going to try just arming it again. So it's like I have the option to actually uh, to drop those bombs. So what happens when I just go... Huh? I don't see any dropping. Oh, I hear them drop. Uh-oh. 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 Wait, what? Where are they actually located? I, I just saw a couple fly out the top. Ooh, wait. What? I got a bomb attached to me. Did they just shoot out the top? Uh, those bombs confuse me a little bit. I thought maybe the bomb bay doors were controlled by the, uh, the trim. Like, they would open up like that, but I can't get them to do that. They just seem to shoot out the top. So I'm probably missing something here. All right, let's turn targeting off. I guess the last thing we should try with this plane, it shows that it can land in the water. So I don't know how fast or how we should really do that. Wait, what? Did those things just open up further? Oh, they do. Oh, do the bombs drop easier now? Hold on. Let's drop some booms. Oh, no, they still just land on top of the plane. Oh, and they bounce. Oh, no! I just blew myself up with a bomb. <laughs> Komodo needs to stop playing with the weapon systems on this plane. All right, so yeah, the trim controls do actually open up the little missile pods, too. And seven's just your activate on those. That's why they opened up those, because I had the, uh, I guess they call it the canard up here. I had it actually up, so... Okay, I understand it a little bit more now. Still not 100% sure on the bomb aspect of the plane, but... Uh, I think we'll be okay. So we're going to trim this thing out. Let's go ahead, put the flaps, let's make them up. I'm going to try to get this thing stable real quick. Uh, go up that way on those. I want to be able to just skim the surface and then slow down. I don't want to nosedive it. All right, so we're going to attempt to land in water here. All right, it's going back off a little bit. Let's counter. Okay. Uh, the Mr. Beast over there, the... Uh, it's called the Mr. Beast aircraft carrier. It's probably a little confused. I always think of Mr. Beast. I always think of the YouTuber. Uh, let's see. Hold on. It's going to slow down a little bit. Down a little bit more. All right. I'm going to lose some speed here. I don't know if hitting the water at 300 is a good idea. Uh, oh, 
Oh, okay. Okay, just keep the nose up. I'm, I'm slightly trying to keep back on this. That way the nose doesn't, like, pile into the water and it doesn't break. Okay, we have zero. Okay, flaps up. All right, let's go ahead and put those up. Put those up. All right, are we slowing down? Well, if Komodo did something right here today, he actually landed in the water, so I'm happy with that. That was nice, and it floats actually great. Wow. Hey, you can almost even turn it on the water, too. That's pretty awesome. All right, that is a definitely a cool plane. But I think we're ready for the next one. All right, so we have a Formula Racer. This is called The Legend of Speed. I don't want to... Is this from something? I feel like this is from, like, an anime or something. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of one of the F-Zero uh, from the Nintendo games. Like, the F-Zero... Well, I think the last one I actually played was, like, F-Zero X on, like, the N64. But still, that's what it reminds me of. So, this looks pretty cool. Kind of want to try this thing out and see if it's uh, as fast as it sounds. Which it does appear that we are actually floating off the ground right now, so... Oh, yes. Is it actually on a wheel right now? It sounds like it, but it doesn't look like it, huh? And let's see what happens when we throttle this up. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, that is cool. Oh, let's lock the... Let's play with the cameras real quick. On here goes flyby. Flyby. Woo. <laughs> okay, there's your cockpit camera. There's your chase view. That is awesome. It's, like, simple because it's so easy to pick up. But I imagine this thing was probably hard to build and Komodo couldn't imagine trying to build this but it's so fast I mean it's not ridiculously fast but is there a way to make it faster uh what do the keys do here is that was that lights no lights are already on I always like to just touch the groups sometimes without actually exploring them no I think this is about as fast as it goes it's just supposed to be an awesome build which it indeed is all right folks we're gonna shoot the gap here I see the fleet dead ahead Oh, boy. All right. Do we think we can make it in between the fleet? It's been a long time since we've harassed the fleet, but it's going to feel good. All right, here we go. Uh, let's get close to the water. I don't want to nosedive it. I don't want to touch that bottom portion at the water. You know, let's just stay above it for now. And, yeah, there's no weapons on this, so we're just going to be... Oh, oh Komodo's getting a little, a little wobbly here. I'm getting nervous. So yeah, there's no weapons on this thing. Uh, it's just simply flying pretty fast, and it's really controllable. I mean, don't let the up and down get you. Uh, on. Oop, oh, oh, no! <laughs> I did exactly what I didn't want to do. Han, is there a chance to save it? Nope, I think the engines are flooded. Alright, you know we indeed are trying that again. Yeah, Komodo's just knocking the rust off. Uh, just trying to figure out everything about Simple Planes again, since it's been so long since we played. So, yeah, just be a little patient here. Uh, don't worry, we'll be blowing up this fleet soon enough. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let's try to get in between the boats. Uh, that was... Man, I, just, I think I wussed out there. Hold on, let's get a little closer than that. All right, here we go. Let's see how close we can get to the aircraft carrier. Uh, let's go out in between ships. All right, go down. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yes! That was pretty cool. Jeez, I want to keep doing it until I crash. Uh, swing. Oh, man, this thing has a really good turning radius. This thing will turn on a dime. All right, here we go. Let's try to cut right really, really close. Oh, no. <laughs> I panicked there at the last moment. Oh, boy. That's a fun creation. It's really smooth. It's not ridiculously fast to where you can't control it. It still just takes a lot of precision and skill. But that was a... Uh, that's a cool creation. I like that. All right, so the last thing we're going to be checking out here is a UAV. It's a heavily armored one. Uh, I like these uh, types of crafts. These look really cool. And Oh, we actually started out by the fleet. All right. Oh, we better get them propellers spun up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Thought we were going to lose it there for a second. All right, got the engine spun up. Let's go ahead. Ooh, I like that folding in of the uh, landing gear there. That's actually pretty sweet. Check that out. Boom. That is smooth. All right, so it appears that there's a minigun cannon on here. It looks like we have missile pods all up through here and here. Uh, maybe is that two cleaver missiles? And then you have two probably air-to-air -air missiles. Uh, let's see our arsenal here. Air-to-air, -air, we got six interceptors, two guardians. Air-to-ground, there's eight inferno 
56 rocket pods. I'm spinning right now. Two cleavers, and apparently there's a bomb in this. Sweet. So apparently this thing's got a laser cannon too. So if you hit one, yep, there's a laser cannon. And then two's going to be your minigun. Oh, this thing is a beast. All right, if I can just figure out how to go down now. Uh, what, what does this one do? Okay, so that's controlling the minigun. I'm assuming this is the up and down. Why does that sound like it's got... Has it got thrusters in it? Why? All right, let's see if we can get this thing to die down a bit. I want. I would like to go back down to Earth. All right, so I have my air to grounds ready to go here. Just shoot rocket pods off at the fleet. I am not very good at aiming this plane. You know what? Let's go with the uh, Infernos. Am I in... Actually, Cleavers. Am I in range of those? Uh, I got the front of it pointed. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Cleavers. Do I have any targeting? Uh, what's that? Okay, here we go. Cockpit. Can they hit me from here? I don't know if they can or can't. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing... Definitely seeing some flak come around me. Am I within range of the Infernos? No, I'm not. Let's go ahead and rain rocket pods on the fleet here. And then we'll have to get moving. Uh-oh. Uh Oh, and I'm starting to lose it again. Yeah, I just... Okay, on tilt forward. All right, pitch forward, and we should be moving forward. Uh, I can see my cleavers on the way. We just got to keep moving here. I don't know. I'm still... Still having some problems mastering the controls here. Uh, I'm just trying to read, see if there's any... Uh, any sort of trick here to what I'm doing. I do not believe there really is. So is that rolling... No, there actually is legitimately like a throw. Oh, you know what? That makes things a lot easier. On uh, countermeasures. Uh oh. This thing doesn't have countermeasures. Oh jeez. Where's the rocket at? Where's the rocket at? Oh, let's spin up the turrets. See if we can maybe hit it. Uh, oh, he missed us. <laughs> okay, so that's how you move forward. It's got a little rocket up its butt. Wow, they can't even hit me because of that. Hold on, switch to infernos here. Uh, Look at that! Look how many rockets we are dodging right now on this thing. Alright, this has gotten a lot easier to fly as soon as I figured a whole rocket up the butt thing. Uh, yeah, you can see we've hit the fleet a little bit. Uh, they are definitely lighting us up, though. Uh, let's see if we can make a wide turn around them here. Oh, jeez. Oh, they fired a lot of rockets. My life is flashing before my eyes. Alright, alright, alright. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. No, no. You know, I actually think I hurt myself by going up. Let's go spawn this over by the airport, see if I can fly it a little bit better. All right, so I'm still learning this thing a little bit. It's uh, helicopter controls have always got me in this game, but I, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. It's just a matter of figuring out how to actually, like, turn easier. It always just kind of goes away from me when I'm actually in flight, how to actually turn these things. Alright, so thrusters are on forward, so we're going that way, so we need to pitch forward like this. There we go. That's a little bit better. The rolling, I can learn a little bit more, but I do think having this throttle all the way up kind of makes it, uh, makes its turning a little bit limited. Yeah, it feels a little bit better this way. Eh, it's still a little shaky for me. I really like it, though. I really like the design on this thing. It looks mean. I don't know if this thing's actually somewhat designed after something. I don't know. Do we have laser cannons in the military yet? Is that a thing? Uh, somebody answer down in the comment section. Yep, just kind of cruising along here in my UAV. Very cool. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. All the creations will be linked down in the description, so if you do want to download anything that you saw in today's episode, uh, they will be there. So, uh, do you guys want to see more Simple Planes? It's taken me a little bit to get used to it again. I'm just glad to be able to record it again. That was my main concern or my main issue with Simple Planes was that my recording software was just causing this game to run so bad. And I was like, man, I know this thing is not that optimized, but it's not that poor. So anyways, thank you guys for all the love and support on Simple Planes. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.